Salon to here, you can't have this, but you can have this. Perfectly trimmed replica of the real thing that changed. It's not the real thing. Diecast Media bringing you another video. Today I'm doing a slightly different video. Well, anyway, I'm doing a little review on my Micro Machines Patriot Missile Launcher. This is the version that was on the Oshkosh Hemet carrier. The base says 1987 Galoob, so this came around came out around 1988 or so. I believe it was used until maybe the mid 90s when uh, Micro Machines went out of style. This is an actual vehicle. Um, the Patriot missiles are still being used. It's a uh, surface-to-air missile, which means it can uh, blow up uh, any kind of threat that's in the air, be it a missile from somewhere else, or maybe flying saucers in the near future. I don't know, I'm just joking there. But they are used to uh, blow up threats to from the air. So, let's dive into this. Got this for a price of $15 off of eBay. Also came with three little guys. Three little Micro Machines dudes, well, soldiers. Um, they're pretty nicely detailed, same with this vehicle. Um, so right now, this is selling standard on eBay alone for 25 bucks mint. So I got a pretty good deal for 15 plus shipping for this model and the uh, three figures. So It's got great detailing. Not too big a fan of the blue windows, but I can live with that. Um, there's your painted lights, your little Oshkosh symbol, your uh, grill, and your uh, high flotation tires for use in the desert and all kinds of rough terrain. They've got a nice tread on them. Um, Launcher itself got some pretty good detailing, like the camouflage, which they did a pretty good job on. And here are the uh, detachable um, missile containers. They're not actually detachable on this one, but how it works is that, well, there's these containers, and inside each of them is a surface-to-air missile, um, and when it launches, that, um, the lids to the containers come off, go aside, and then each missile launches out. You can launch four missiles pretty much at the same time. I believe they can launch more though, because these are just placed on by a crane. Uh, so when every single missile is fired, crane comes and uh, pulls off these containers and places new ones on. So, Reese is this far up on fake hydraulic cylinders, simulated ones I should say. Only because about a 180 goes down. I believe this was also available on a semi truck the, in micro machines form, but here you can see there's a little hitch. Possibly to hook up to more of these something like that. Like I said earlier, the base says 1987 Galoob, made in China, Micro Machines. has no details about what it is, but it does have some nice drive shaft detailing. As you can see here, it probably detaches, but I really don't want to try that because it might break this. And getting a replacement will not be cheap. So you can see they're supposed to be painted silver. The hub is in there. Some toolboxes. The uh, 
suspension and stuff. It's pretty nice. Just do a 360 of this. And I'll get to the guys. Well, this model was issued in your regular all of drab camouflage. Um, and several different shades of that. A few different variations of desert camouflage. And um, the tractor unit itself, the Oshkosh, was released under Hasbro's rule in about 2003, I want to say, 2004, alone in a uh, Arctic combat set. It was just white with some weathering on it. So that's a pretty nice piece. It's bigger than most micro machines, so I'll compare it to a Hot Wheels car. About the same length as a Hot Wheels car, so that's very unusual for a micro machine. It is normally only go up to about here. So, um, for the little guys. This guy's like a sniper laying on the ground. They're molded and painted in the right colors. And, um, for Mushroom, take a look at this. These are pretty old, actually, um, from 1987. And, see, the gun. No bent barrel. Compared to the, uh, um, calm that military um, heroics uh, or something like that I forget what they're actually called but this one he is holding a heavy bazooka or artillery of sorts um, but for some reason he has a pink face I don't know what's up with that pretty cool and then this one's a heavy mortar artillery. You can see some weapon detailing on, on his body. It's a bagged um, overall great detail. And these are like uh, hard, soft rubber. Overall great detail on the guys. So there you go on your uh, Patriot missile launcher and the guys. Um, but first, I'll just do a little comparison, size comparison. Um, they actually seem okay in size for Matchbox and Hot Wheels. But these guys are not cheap. Went to a toy show, and probably going back to, and the vendor had a ton of micro machines, and every single micro machine was like $2. Still thinking on them. Well, I was thinking on them at the time, so didn't really get them. So here it is compared to a Battle Kings guy. Battle Kings guy is way bigger. And I'll show it next to a slightly smaller military vehicle. That looks much more in scale. Well, some of them do, but... And finally... I'll show it next to one one forty fourth scale dragon tanks. Hmm. Seems to be in scale. Pretty nice piece. I highly recommend getting these if you uh, can find them for a great price. And I believe this one was packaged in a gift set. With a uh, tank and a cargo truck. So I'll try to track down those on eBay and show them for you guys. So there's my little long look at my Patriot Missile Launcher. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.